Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Sharma here. So the NEED Super Speciality results are out and in the NEED Super Speciality Pediatrics, we have our special guest today, Dr. Chandan. Dr. Chandan has got a score of 292 and we are looking at probable rank of in the, uh, rank in the early 20s. So welcome Dr. Chandan and first of all, congratulations. How are you feeling right now? Thank you, sir. I'm feeling very nice. I'm with a very nice feeling. I have secured this good rank. I know, I know. Uh, cracking an entrance exam is it's always a, a very nice feeling, and you have cracked multiple entrance exams in the past. Hopefully, uh, 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 hopefully, uh, super speciality is your final frontier, right? Uh, sir, uh, sir. Even I am so hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> See, there is no end to giving exams, but I think now that you are going to do your DM, so uh, how are you feeling? I think it's uh, first of all, congratulations to your parents also and to your family. So for, for such a stupendous performance. And uh, can I know something about your background? Can you share some information about your background, please? Like where you, Sir, I did, I, the, where you belong? I did my UG from uh, Karnataka. It's from Kim Subri, sir. Okay. Then for for uh, uh, MD Pediatrics, I did from PGI Rotak. Great. PGI Rotak. Then there I completed, I gave exam in uh, this year, July. Okay. 2021 July. Okay. Then I gave entrance in the first attempt. In the first attempt, I was able to clear this neat SSS. Okay, great, great, great. So this was your first attempt. So cracking and yes, getting a rank in the top 20s or 30s in the first attempt is really, you know, uh, quite commendable. So uh, students who are listening to this uh, interview, they would be interested in knowing the resources that you used, what books did you follow, and uh, what books did you find useful for your uh, SS preparation? Sir, the sole book I used only was Nelson. Okay. I did not use any guidebook. Okay. I did not. Then I joined preparatory in the month of April, even okay. before the board exams. Okay. Okay. Uh, I came to know about it from my friends actually, and I joined there. Okay. But in say two three months, as there was board exams, I couldn't follow the the app so much, and mm -hmm. I I read only important topics from the preparatory app, and I used to read Nelson. Then once I gave board exam, my sole companion was Nelson and preparatory app. And that's all. No, I did not follow any guidebooks. I know I did not follow any other MCQ books also. Yes, yes. See, uh, I, I understand that once you're doing your final year MD, it is very difficult to take out time. So uh, how did you achieve that balance between, you know, targeting uh, MCQ entrance exam and also preparing for your final year MD? How did you achieve that balance? Sir, sir I didn't feel much of the difference. Nelson, I was, I was reading only Nelson. Then... I used to understand concepts then rather than memorizing. Then I used to listen to your lectures also towards the end last three months. Then I used to frame concepts and I used to underline things. I did not prepare exclusively for MCQ sir, that three months. For board exams and simultaneously, I think preparation is the same. But for MCQs, for MCQ exams, some extra topics we need to read from Nelson. Correct. Rather than some important 10 mark questions. So basically, whatever you do in your three years of MD, if you are sincere enough and you do it from Nelson, I think that forms a very solid base for those who are targeting yes, super specialty, right? Yes, so this is I did not use any other books also. For all subjects, I used only Nelson for all syllabus. Great. Mm -hmm. So those who are targeting super specialty in pediatrics, this is a message from Dr. Chandan that uh, do not neglect your university uh, exams, your uh, uh, three years of MD preparation and try to incorporate Nelson as much as you can because almost as I said before, 70-80% of things are asked from Nelson. So uh, what was your uh, you know, analysis of the paper? How did you find the paper when you like it started and what were your feeling about the paper? Sir, actually I, I did not know about any previous papers. Mm -hmm. But used to, during classes, he used to tell so these are the important questions which are asked in the previous only that I knew. But this some clinical questions were more this time. Okay. And some questions also were not one-liners. There were not many one-liners. Okay. Compared to fellowship entrance, as many had many one-liners. Mm -hmm. But neat assess didn't, didn't have. There were many paragraph questions, lengthy questions. Okay. So it but was, time was sufficient, scenario based questions mm -hmm. you, you need to be uh, prepared for, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what were the areas which you felt that you could have done better? Like which were the slightly tricky, difficult areas in the paper in super specialty exam? Sir, actually I did not prepare about recent scenarios. There mm -hmm. was a question about uh, what was the recent uh, 2025 goal, WHO goal. Okay. Uh, about, I did not prepare about the recent scenarios and uh, few of the kidney topics I did not prepare well. 
if i yes that was a unanimous thing what students said that pediatric nephrology was tough there were some questions stuff which were in pediatric neurology also and uh, yes recent updates like health rules and mortality rates i think they, these were the questions which many students got there wrong but that also okay. means that if you were not thorough with them you did well in the other questions the core pediatric part right Ah, yes, sir. Okay, so more than that, I, co I committed throughout two or three very silly mistakes that I should have not done. I was very okay. depending after the exams. I don't think there is anybody in this world who doesn't make silly mistakes. We do it all the time, so we are all humans. But uh, so, uh, what are your plans right now? What do you intend to take up? Sir, uh, right now during entire my preparation, I was planning for intensive care, pediatric intensive care. Now I am definitely between pediatric onco and pediatric intensive care. So, so most have... I probably I take pediatric onco. Okay, onco versus intensive care, right? So no neonatology uh, as is the norm, right? No, no, yes, no. Okay, okay, okay. And what what place are you looking at? Somewhere closer to home? Ah, uh, sir, it's in Kidwai, Bangalore. Okay. Otherwise, Tata Memorial, Mumbai. Yeah, yeah. Tata Memorial Oncology is like uh, almost next level. So if you get it. um all the best for whatever thing you will be settling in for so uh students who are listening to this some of them will be uh, you know joining uh, just joined or doing their first year some of them will be in second year a lot of them will be in final year or post md so what is your advice to those students who have just joined in pediatrics like what uh, advice would you like to give as a pediatrician as well as for the super specialty exam for those who have just joined as a super specialty you need to be disciplined but you can't uh, just tell that i study in third year after the exam i study that can't be sir from the whole first year i know first year will be very hectic in every college you must be disciplined at least give one or two hours every day that will be sufficient during first and second year but that one or two hours sincere reading is required but you will be in touch with the subjects then see patients then analyze then take case histories then even the professors there in the college will help us a lot and i had a, i had one matlab i was i took inspiration to do dm from dr j s kaushik he did his dm neuro from uh, aims so he was my inspiration uh, then so that's it from big from the beginning you need to be disciplined not too much thing also then patient care is also required including that uh, you should be analyzing patients then read nelson for one or two hours every day that will be very sufficient and when it comes once you, once you come to third year then you need to study for the board exams then You will gain the pace, and some of the students will be in final year of uh, pediatrics, or some of them will be your your you know fellow MDs who have done their MD, but uh, they could not get a good rank this year. So, any advice, any uh, suggestions for them apart from Nelson, like how they can because they'll have more time, obviously. So, based upon the paper, what would you advise? Like Nelson, though it has to be done, right? Other than that, what additional things do you think? Like uh, you feel if you would have been in their place, you would be doing if you had not got a good rank. So Nelson is sufficient. Then what I did was I used to follow the lectures, sir. And whatever extra points you used to tell in the lectures, I used to stick. I used to, I used to form a stick notes and stick it in Nelson itself. I did not form any particular extra notes. Even I did not refer any any extra articles also. Great. Only your lectures, Nelson. Then I extra some many of the lectures contain extra points which used to tell you to, it will be asked in the exam. It is very important. This is um, probable need assess question. Then I used to form stick notes and I used to paste it there then and there itself. Then I used to revise, but then the revision is very important. That mm -hmm. that I can. Say. So, did you give any mock exams, or uh, this was the only exam, proper exam, which you gave? So, the only exam, sir. Only exam. Okay. Did not give any mock exam. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, basically, you did not have much time to practice. Also, but you were thorough with your basics in in Nelson, and I think that was good enough for you to get a rank in the top thirties. So, that's a big message for those who are preparing. That if you are working hard enough, and you don't, you know, spread out your Preparation too much. Stick to one or two sources and do it well enough. I don't think uh, uh, you will have much of uh, things to complain about when the results come. So, uh, yeah, any uh, dedications, any shout out you want to give to your friends, to your family, to your colleagues, because this will be going on social media. So you know, uh, they'll feel nice. Anybody who, especially whom you want to uh, dedicate it to. I such a doubt thought of it. So I dedicate it to my parents only. Okay. Then I'll ask my juniors be disciplined from the beginning. Discipline and hard work is important. So then follow only single source like Nelson, and they can follow your lectures. So they are very good actually, okay. and they are very crisp. And they make some few Nelson points which I did not understand while first first time reading, second time reading, 
after listening to your lectures that i know i knew that importance of the sentence many of the concepts also i couldn't understand by the first time second time reading after you are using to lectures i got to know that concepts also and you explain they are explained very nicely sir thank you dr chandra that's so nice of you but end of the day it comes down to individuals uh, we are all like you know surgical instruments it's not the surgical instrument it's the surgeon who uh, how he uses those instruments that's what decides the success of the surgery so i am a medicine guy but i am talking like a you know surgeon so uh, i think it was lovely talking to you dr chandan and all the best for your future uh, once the merit list is out and once you join uh, we would love to have a quick word with you again and uh, all the best to you for your future and uh, congratulations once again congratulations to your parents as well so thank, thank you, you very so much. much thank you thank you sir